Hey guys, uh, happy Friday. Uh, thanks for jumping on and, and spending a few minutes with me today. Um, I was just sitting outside here uh, enjoying the sun and just soaking up nature and uh, have so enjoyed this time in just uh, really having more um, opportunity to just uh, reflect and be still and just appreciate the gifts and the beauty, um, the healing power, truly, of nature. I am so grateful for it, and I encourage you guys, um, even if it's just a few minutes, um, if you're busy or, or working outside the home or, or have a lot of things going on, just really remember how powerful um, the vitamin D is, the potency of the sun um, as a healing tool. Uh, Mother Earth, nature, is just truly God's gift to us um, in all times as we can uh, enjoy it. So anyways, just a great reminder. And as I was sitting out here, I was just doing some reflecting over the last couple of days. Um, my uh, childhood home that I grew up in and the home that my mom pretty much knew most of her time here um, in the United States um, since she passed uh, about six weeks ago we uh, you know were able to be blessed to find someone that um, purchased it and we closed on it a couple days ago <clears throat> so this week has been a pivotal time a transition again uh, in this journey since my mom's passing and so I've just spent some time uh, really just feeling that and honoring that um, because it's it's tough you know uh, another chapter starts right so anyways I was just thinking uh, how important it is and how uh, this is new for me in the sense it's important to, to really honor what you're feeling and take some time to just be with it. Um, that's very different than, you know, putting a band-aid or running away from uh, what you're feeling, especially, you know, life, life uh, moments such as that where it, it's sad, you know, it's sad. And to me, that's, that's really a gift in this time that we're all experiencing the last six months is we're going through a lot of life shifts and life changes. And uh, it's very important in our uh, growth and um, our, our awakening process of our, our new beginnings that we honor whatever we're feeling. And that's a lot different than we've been told or encouraged uh, through so many distractions. So what I wanted to visit more about was the game of distractions. If you really look at all that has been created outside to distract us from our, our truth, our feelings, um, our inner wisdom. Now imagine as I'm going through this um, and, and such a, a big change, um, an emotional time. Imagine if I just kept busy and was doing and masking the symptoms then I would miss the gift of, of growing and becoming more connected to my source and honestly in this time I have felt a very strong connection to my mom on the way to um, the closing to um, complete the paperwork you know I was really reflecting um, 
And in that, instead of escaping, um, I actually felt my mom. And it was a beautiful gift she gave me. And I was able to shed some tears and really feel her. And it was truly a validation from her that all is well. She is doing amazing and she is totally at peace. And so even though it was sad that the only home I've ever known that my mom's been in for her gosh, 60 years, it was okay to complete that chapter because I could feel that she was at a much better, um, peaceful, abundant place. But it was because I've been doing the work and I've been going within and I've been feeling all, all of it, that I was able to receive that gift. So I just wanted to share that um, and honor the fact that, guys, the distractions are to create fear and to create havoc for us and amongst us. And I speak a lot, as you'll see, about unity and love and healing and abundance and grace. Now, I know these are words, but they're also truth and they're energy and they're gifts that our Creator, our Divine Source, our God, has placed within us to unlock to discover their treasures that we get to discover and it's a journey and it is a choice it is so easy to pick up the boulders to take on the heaviness to be distracted to play the game because that's all we've ever been taught. And it's familiar. The negativity, the fear, the games, the division. It's such a freaking game. And all I know is it's not the truth. And it's not our best. And it's not what we were created to be. But we each have to make the choice. When are we done playing the game? Because the power of unity and the power of linking arms and believing in each other and lifting each other up and encouraging each other and empowering each other and believing in each other, loving each other, it's abundant. And it's truly gifts that we get to be a part of in this journey called life. But we have to choose. I had a beautiful conversation with a friend today on the phone. And we were discussing some formalities for my kid's school um, as he's online but we're, we're still connected to the school. And the gift in that was that we got to share e each of our stories with each other. We connected. Because that's what we discovered. We've all had a history. We all have current experiences. We all have life situations and challenges that led us to this point that give us the choices that we make today. So it was wonderful to share on a heart level and to truly honor each other and feel what each one of us was going through and why we were choosing what we chose and loving that and supporting each other because it really helped each one of us kind of see 
Hey, why are we each walking the path we're walking? You know why? Because that's our truth. And so when we get to understand from a heart place, we get to truly love each other and support each other and also give each other additional tools and information that may or may not be the next step for someone. But it's about community and it's about supporting and encouraging each other because it's all a different piece of the puzzle, guys. It's like we're putting together this massive abundant puzzle. And if we think that we have all the pieces, we're missing the gift, guys. Because there are so many pieces to complete that amazing miracle of a puzzle that God has blessed us with. This is a journey. And we're in it together. We're a community to share with each other and to bless each other with support and all the light that we have within. So let's choose, guys, choose. We have a choice in every experience, every circumstance we have. We have a choice of how we look at it. And I am really feeling that because the light is so abundant right now, if we pause and we go within and we feel what is the right choice for me, instead of just reacting or going with what's familiar or taking a knee-jerk approach that we've done so much prior because of fear, because of the energy, because of feeling pressured, then we can truly make the most um, aligned decision for us at that moment. But that takes patience and pause and trust. So I really am feeling very grateful for the place I'm at in our journey. And I'm very grateful for what I've been learning and sensing from the recent journey with my mom and her transition. I feel my mom all the time. I cannot believe how much love I feel from her and how much peace. But for the first time in my life, I have been more vulnerable and allowed myself to feel at a much deeper level. But that's the journey. Clearing out the junk, removing the veil, and knowing that fear is just an illusion. It's a game. We don't have to play it. But it's going to take some clearing in each step. I feel the feeling of fear very often. But I'm doing the work to pause and ask myself, is that true? Is it true? Most of the time, no. There's always love in it. It's the resistance we don't like. But if you just look at it and feel the resistance, it will dissolve. It will. But you continue to love yourself and be in alignment so that you can feel your truth. If you're in fear and your pendulum is swung the other way, because you're following the masses and what you've always known, very unlikely you're going to feel at a deeper level. You're on the surface. So that's why the distractions are so important and why I felt called to share this today because in the changes, in the transitions, we truly can have gifts appear and feel them. 
And if we allow ourselves to go inward and feel instead of a knee-jerk distraction and run and mask, we're going to miss the gifts. Allow yourself to feel. And it takes practice, guys. It's scary in the beginning because very few times are we encouraged to feel. Feel means just allow it to flow, whatever that is. Get grounded. Stay grounded as much as you possibly can. When you notice you're really frazzled and feeling, quote unquote, out of control, breathe and get centered. Ground, go out inside nature, connect, get, get in your truth. Ask yourself, is it true? What I'm feeling, what I'm thinking, is it true? No? Then all is well. But my conversation with my friend today just really blessed me because it really gave me an opportunity to realize the purpose of all of this. And it's each for us to decide what is our truth. And the cool thing is honor each one of us each person in their truth that means allow it and love it together and then constantly serve share serve whatever whatever form you you're here to do because we all have a piece of the puzzle that's the really cool thing Share your peace. All right, guys. I am so grateful and I love y'all so much. And know that miracles are within us, miracles are around us, and miracles are coming. So uh, enjoy, enjoy. Take care of you. Lots of prayers, lots of prayers of healing. And uh, abundant love. Keep looking up. Because that's where it all is. Take care.